Yo, I'm Benjamin. In this video, I would love to show you two new features we're adding to Framer sites. Aspect ratio locking for all of your content and minimum and maximum sizing options. Before we dive in, let's have a look at how you would set up a responsive web page today. So here we have one of our get started pages. It's quite content heavy and has a few paragraphs, a few assets. And if we go ahead and preview this and then resize, you'll see that at certain breakpoints, the assets essentially jump to a new fixed width. Now this means that when viewed on specific devices, your content might not render ideally. Now this setup was needed because prior to these new features, you could not preserve the aspect ratio of an image in a stack nor could you define minimum and maximum sizes. Now let's have a look at how we can set this up in a much cleaner way with these new features. I can actually go ahead and delete this breakpoint. And I can select an asset like this one. And I can now lock the aspect ratio of any frame, any image, even if it's in a stack. So I can click the lock and then I can set the width to 100%, hit enter. And now the height value will be automatically calculated too, to preserve the aspect ratio. And now let's move on to min and max sizing. Below width and height, you'll find a new property control. And it gives us the max width, min width, as well as the max height and min height properties. They're all unset by default. So here, let's say we want maybe a thousand pixels maximum width. So for the first time ever in Framer, you can now say, I want this image to have a width of 100%, an automatically calculated height, and a maximum width of a thousand pixels. And if we now preview this, you'll see that the image doesn't scale any further than 1000 pixels. And as soon as it hits that point, it resizes proportionally. And now we could do the same for our text. So I can select this parent stack, set width to 100%. And then maybe actually we want this to be a little bit less wide. And let's preview that. And there we go. So this allows you to rely a bit less on breakpoints while also enabling you to design even more flexible layouts in Framer. So that's a quick look at the new aspect ratio and minimum and maximum sizing options. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates.